So I'm Anthony Sabatino, the director of The End of a Marvelous Era, and in this promo video we have a saxophone player who is talking about the progression of music and where it's going, and also uh, we have the Moonlighters band, big band of Santa Rosa, who is more of a older style big band. So I hope you enjoy this version of uh, the promo. years after I picked up the horn. That's where I first got a taste of jazz music and that we're doing not just better music and kind of bringing better musicality to their playing, but they were improvising and not just taking what was on the page, but they're, they're creating their own stuff. And it was... Kids enjoy it, teenagers enjoy it. It's just, it's, it's infectious. It makes you move. In other words, I play in orchestras and I can sit there and count 160 measures and go ding on the triangle. Okay, but it doesn't make me get up and move. The project that I'm working on right now, like you said, is called Atlas. And it is a, a group of musicians who all have a real deep respect and, and, and passion actually for electronic music. It's all created by, you know, people sampling and then people with computers. And if, frankly, we don't think that they should be the only ones that kind of get to bring that intensity. Um, but they're all doing it electronically. and our thought is, why should they be the only ones that get to make remixes? Why can't we take this music that's got amazing power and intensity and musicality and bring it back to the live realm, but keep those, those elements that make people really excited by it? The, the clubs have to be able to come up with a, at least a little bit of cash because these bands are big. <laughs> it's called a big band for a reason, you know? It's not a DJ and it's not like a singer-songwriter playing guitar. It's like 18 people, you know? What I think is really interesting with the big band is that you are getting 20 different sounds. You're getting 20, you know, 20, 25, depending on the size of the band, different instruments, playing different sounds, and you've got to somehow bring those all together. And electronic music, especially some of the more, I think, out there and really creative artists like Medeon, they're bringing in hundreds of different sounds during the course of one song. And they bring those all together as well. have to keep jazz bands music alive in the mu in schools public schools private schools having come up in live music i love it and it's what really created my passion for it and for the art and, and i'd hate to see people lose that um, i think that in order to keep it alive you you've got to you know make sure that the in part that the idols are people that are doing live music Thank you to all those who have passed this along or made a donation within the next uh, few weeks. If you can help us get an extra push to get our film funded, and uh, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.